Hey there, it's time to build some batteries. Let's build a 48 volt uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. All right, so here are our batteries. It's gonna be 16 of these LEV uh, 60-F lithium iron phosphate cells. And then we're gonna use our compression plates here. These are the ones for the 48 volts. And then our uh, bus bar kit, right? And then the uh, spacers that you have to put on the bottom of this to elevate it. Uh, and then our fish paper that is gonna go in between all the cells. So first we start by reorienting the cells according to what needs to be here to make the 48 volts, right? So we start with a positive, negative, and then positive, negative. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, right? So on this side, it starts with a negative on this, on the bottom here. So we'll put it right there. And then it just changes, right? Po pos uh, negative, positive, negative, positive. So then we'll do that. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. There we go. All right. Now that we have that, then just like we have picture here on the bus bar kit, it shows you where the spacers are gonna go. These are all 55 millimeter spacers. And then this one, it's 43 millimeter. And then uh, these are the single ones. So here are the spacers, the 55 ones here, the, the 43 ones is right here. So we can put those over here and then corner top over there. Another one here. And we're using two of these so that we can, um, the thickness of two of these boards. So here's two singles. Here's another two singles there. And then we go here. And this little cut right here goes on here so that, because this protrudes. So we have to, that's for clearance there, right? So you have to put them that way. Oh yeah, and don't forget your paper. So you have to slide this paper in between all your cells. There we go. This is an isolating paper, just a barrier so that your cells don't ever short out. And then the short ones are gonna go in between here. All right, next we're gonna put this big um, bus bar board on top here. And then the last thing we'll put our compression thing. So these uh, uh, version, the latest version of these are have elongated holes to make it easier. The last one, the first generation of these were a bit tight to put on there. So this one should be easier. Next, we put lock washers and nuts on this. Don't tighten them yet until you put the uh, compression plates. We put the plates. We put the fish paper in between to isolate them. We put these uh, all threads. By the way, some people were saying that uh, we should uh, put maybe shrink wrap on those screws here. Yeah, you could do that. You could put shrink wrap, but the way these are designed, they're not touching the cells. And so well, before you tighten everything, make sure that it's aligned correctly and you have the same amount of uh, space between this cell and this cell, this side and that side, right? So there's space right there. So now we can tighten it. All right, now that we got this all tightened up right here, right, they're tensioned, uh, and you can pick up this battery as a single unit now. Now we need to tighten all the uh, bolts in here. Okay, last thing, connect your cables. Now be careful here because these are really close to each other, so you could easily short stuff out. I would uh, tighten this one first so it doesn't swing over and accidentally touch. 
checked all the other ones to make sure that I didn't forget one. All right, and there is our 48 volt battery. This is uh, 74 amp hours, right? 48, what is that like? All right, so this one's about 80 pounds. And so you, yeah, I would suggest you use like I did uh, help so that you can put it up in the wall if that's what you're gonna do, right? Now it's pretty compact compared to all the other batteries that are wall mounted like this, but uh, it's only three and a half kilowatt because it's 74 amp hours by 46, 48 volts, right? And so, but of course you could always just put more and you can double your capacity that way. Three and a half, two of those would be like seven kilowatt hours and you can tie them in parallel. You can use the BMS. In the future, I will show you how to put a BMS to this plate here, how to attach it there. And then you can run the native to it, through it, and then, you know, run all the cables to this uh, green. Uh, these are good because they, you don't have to solder them. They will come with them soldered in here from, uh, from here on. And so you'll be able to just uh, splice your cables, put them in there and tighten the little screw and then you're good to go now and they're all labeled and stuff to make it really easy for you to uh, do this they also this bus bar has a uh, the diagram here just in case you don't understand what these numbers are if they're different than your bms different companies like to label these as different these are i like to use them as c because they're center taps but a lot of other people use a b as, as a you know it's like a negative from the one cell to the front cell but it's a positive so you know there's different ways to name taming these uh taps here those balance taps and so in case you don't understand you can look at the little diagram here and see exactly what where those are going right so this is just to help you put a battery like this uh as easy and as quickly as possible this took me like 30 minutes to put together and then throw it up here right so these are these are really cool for that so by the way uh these are gonna all this stuff is available at the links on the bottom of this video as always i want to thank you for watching this video and i will see you guys on the next one bye